Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's ASCII here with 10 tips for beginners in H1Z1. Our first tip is to shred your shirt and make a bow. This is common practice for any newly spawned character. You can right click your shirt in the inventory menu and select shred. Then use one of the strips and a stick to make a bow, and then more sticks for arrows. Now you're armed and able to fight. In at number 9 are blackberries. These are a plentiful food source that's light to carry and restores 2% of your hunger and thirst for each one eaten. In 8th place is getting water. First you're going to need a water bottle. If you're lucky enough to find one that's full, we'll come to that in a moment, but you're more likely to end up with one that's empty. You can fill it by taking it to any lake or river, or simply by standing out in the rain. This gets you dirty water that you then need to purify. To do this, you put the bottle into a fire and wait. Now you have purified water. You can also find stagnant water out in the world, but it's best to purify this as well. In at number 7 is hunting. Getting to grips with your bow early on will give you a solid supply of food for the foreseeable future by hunting deer. Once you kill one, you next need to harvest its meat. To do this, you need to hit the corpse with a bladed weapon. You might also receive a bladder. Combine this with a scrap of cloth and you can use it to make hunting easier as you're less likely to spook the deer. You can then cook the meat in the same way that you would purify water by placing it into a fire. In 6th place is how to make a fire early on. You're going to need logs and a means of lighting it. Well, to get the logs, first we're going to be making a hatchet from a metal scrap and a wooden stick. Even though the item's text doesn't list it, you can use this weapon to chop down trees. Next up we need to light the fire and to do this we're going to be making a bow drill from a wooden plank that you can now get from using the logs, a wooden stick and a scrap of cloth. Make the fire in the crafting menu and then use the bow drill to ignite it. You can now cook the meat and purify all the water you'll ever need. At number 5 is the discovery menu. Anytime you're safe and have a few new items, open up and see what you can make. It doesn't make the items there and then, it just gives you a recipe for the future, so play around and see what you can discover. In 4th place is the stash. You can use a stash to store items you can't carry and then come back from them at a later date. To dig a stash you first need a hand shovel made from a shard and a stick, and somewhere safe to dig it. In 3rd is crate smashing. First this is a really easy way to get planks for any base building projects, but items like ammunition can also spawn inside of the crates. Taking the second to top spot is the satchel and framed backpack. Making the satchel early on is very easy, it just takes 6 scraps of cloth which you can get from shredding any clothes that you find. This means that you can now carry more items. In the future you can craft a backpack frame from nails and sticks, combine the two and you have a very good sized backpack. And our top tip? Well, it goes to improving a lot of the items we've just covered. Many items can be made better, for example purified water can be combined with blackberries to make it blackberry juice. You can take that deer meat and combine it with some survival bread to make a sandwich. That bow you made right at the start? Well get your hands on some twine and a stick and you can make a better version. Loads of items can be improved upon, so play about and see what you can find. That's all we have time for today, but if you would like more information on H1Z1, I recommend you check out h1z1.gamepedia.com, which has all the latest information and gets updated as the game does. If you have any survival tips, why not leave a comment below, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. For now though, I've been ASCII, and thank you for watching.